Assalamu alaikum dear students i am tamar ahmed hope you all are well by the grace of almighty allah as you know i am working from my home for you and hope you are watching and following my videos from your home today one of the skills we have to work on is rearrange yes i am talking about question number 7 that is rearrange which is a very common and you may get a very good number by following simple task of techniques if you follow this you may achieve a good marks Uh, full marks i want to mention the full marks in your exam so before uh, this uh, i want to give you some ideas that the types of rearrange and you uh, have to face in your exams so let's start the class i have mentioned that there are two types of rearrange we usually found in exam that is personal one and the second one is abstract or description based personal based means uh, a rearrange some important incidents of of a famous person and their lifestyle and their achievement and that is all about their life life span we have so many examples in test papers and exam to exercise but uh, if you get an abstract or description based rearrange you have to follow some techniques so uh, we are going to get a class on rearrange today i have mentioned i mentioned in class times several times that you just you just put on the the numbers when you are going to attend the uh, attend these types of question so uh, uh, yeah, and then uh, you have to uh, securely put some information and arrange them the question you found you have to rearrange this wrong order in your own way but you have to make sure the sequence is correctly correctly mentioned okay in your exam so in personal or historical based rearrange question the general sequence of a person based like first of all you have to put the name of the author you have to find out the full name something like that uh, one of the person or you have heard the one of a famous person like dot 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 so first of all you have to mention or search the name why uh, the sentence where the name of the author 
or the person is stated and second one is birth date or place sometimes you will find the village name of this famous person where he was born then come to the profession third one this profession then marriage and about his children and his parentage and then you will have to search the sentence where his achievement is stated several times you will get many of achievement so it's a sequence according to sequence you have to put accordingly okay then you have to mention naturally uh, the famous person got some award so then you will search and pick the line where his achievement and his award is stated and uh, then uh, in which time in uh, uh, according to which work he became a famous person that is his first um publications uh, first uh, research uh, elements such as uh, uh, something like that um, and uh, then if the famous person is no more today so uh, definitely there is a um, information of his death so you have to put lastly the death or if he alive you have to mention this present condition why he has been lived nowadays so uh, he is the sequence of a person based situation historical play historical um, rearrange based and then um, if you uh, just go through this kind of sequences you will get a full right order story and you just pick the point and uh, mention in the box so uh, let's uh, go through the second category this abstract event or description base it is all about a situation based rearrange where uh, some incidents or some thing like that um problems or social um wrong orders that is traffic jam um if teasing uh, or or something like that so you have to mention here the first of all you have to search the title of the passage what is the purpose of the passage and what is the main theme of the passage you have then you have to mention the title of the definition then its importance why you have to follow or, or why you do not have to follow uh, then good or impacts or bad impacts you have to mention sequence according to sequence you have to just pick the sequel of the sentences and if and the consequences then the consequences uh, you have gone through and finally the concluding line concluding line Um, about the passage or the topics you have to mention so uh, naturally a rearrange in question number 7 is based on person by but sometime you, you will get this types of uh, uh, abstract event also okay so i want to give you this a brief description on abstract event or description based rearrange so then uh, i want to mention that the suggestion on person based rearrange mm, in your coming exam you will get probably these such kinds of person uh, uh, and their life span mm. so i want to uh, give you a brief idea uh, on uh, this particular 
heavy a dense person is real age and i choose more than 7 or 8 particular famous person and they are very much familiar and very much famous in this regard so first of all bangabandhu shukmu jubudaman you may have his life span or his very age and then kajun is islam robindranath nelson mandela abraham lincoln dr kujuti khoda alfred nobel dr mohammad shoidula all are famous and you will you may get if you um, practice more and more on them you will i hope you will get full marks in this particular statement so uh, next uh, you and to mention that how to write the answer in the exam paper uh, you can see here uh, you know i mentioned several time in the class time that you just put the only number corresponding number and before answering this question you have to read more than thrice and follow the instruction mention the question that is uh, and you will i i i definitely i want to i can want to say uh, you will get instruction that question number into question number 7 that only the corresponding number this line only the corresponding number you have to write that means you, you have to write a box 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and below this uh, you just pick and add the number of the question so uh, uh, don't rewrite the paragraph it is not mandatory <coughs> if the corresponding number you have to write this particular instruction ha- uh, has been stated with the answer okay, with the question okay sec and second uh, thing thing that yeah, you have to um, revise more and more and uh, try to your try to find your errors so uh, let's go through a question this is uh, hw i want to give you uh, here you can see the put the following parts of uh, the incorrect order to make the whole story yes yeah, this is a part of a story only the corresponding number yes i am talking this types instructions only the corresponding numbers of the sentence need to be written there are eight sentence each sentence contain one number so here the, uh, the question number 7 the first line his parents were poor farmers and lived in countryside number b he went to this in that he went to that school on foot but he didn't fell tired at all number c alexander fleming the seventh the eight children of his par- parents was born in 1881 in scotland and number d everything in the school was quite informal and number b fleming helped in sheep rearing even when he was not old enough to go to school number f when fleming was 10 he moved to a bigger school at dunville four miles away from his first school number g when he was 5 years of age he started going to neighborhood school where there were only 15 students and one teacher and last one classes were usually held by the bank of the nearby river so uh, i i want to uh, give i want to make you concentration on the number of the f number line when fleming was 10 here in the instruction about his age that is 10 and uh, uh, such kind of sentence he was born 1881 so you have to just 
we have to just give or uh, may concentrate yourself that the number of age mentioned in the question is very much important so find out the first line and uh, i want to give you the instruction that is remember one thing the correlation between the sentence or among the sentences is very much important i repeat the correlation between the sentence or among the sentence is very much important so find out the correlation and you will get the answer and finally uh, you have to give such kind of answer here i want to mention again on the corresponding number you have to write so here the um, here the process you have to answer this so thanks my dear students that's all for today thank you again for being with my class allah hafiz